prophet who lived in Jerusalem. Do you know what his name means? It means the Lord is salvation. Now that seems pretty cool. You know why? Because he used to evangelize and spread the word about the good news about God. Now, do you want to know how he started? Seriously? Yeah, do you know? He volunteered. Can you imagine that? He volunteered. Most people run away from work. But one night, he had a vision and he knew that God wanted to speak to his people. So he said, here, here I am, here I am, send me. Can you imagine that? Yeah, he did. He probably thought that God was going to send him to some foreign country, but God wanted him to work right where he was. Now you know how hard it is to talk to people who know you. They see some of your good points, but they see all your flaws, don't they? But Isaiah volunteered. He made a great start, didn't he? Yes? No? Actually, no. You know what? He told people off for all the wrong things that they were doing. He asked them to turn away from pride and from all their sins. Oh boy. So you know what happened? Yeah, some people listened, but a lot of them didn't. So he had to keep giving the message. But you know what was good? He also begged them to return to God. And you know that verse where he says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Remember that verse? That's what he told people. He encouraged them. He urged them. But you know what? It wasn't all doom and gloom. Even though he had to tell them off of the things that are doing wrong, he took time and he took care to explain to them how gracious and how compassionate God was. Now that was quite a job to do. So what's our takeaway this week? Well, sometimes what God calls us to do isn't easy. That's for sure. But sometimes, like the people to whom Isaiah spoke, God's message to us isn't always what we want to hear. But in each instance, whether we are giving the message or receiving the message, one thing is clear, and that is God is always going to be with us. Once we ask him into our lives, he will help us to listen. So this week, let's pray and ask God for the courage to hear him, to see where the needs are, maybe in school, in church, or in your workplace or community. And like I said, let's say, I am, send me. That's all for Alpha Biblical now. Have a great week. Man, wait.